What we'd like to do in this video here is to talk to you about a particular electrical device called a voltage divider. In a pretty general form, let's just take a look. Voltage divider. So what we have here is a uh, extremely simple circuit here, just made out of two resistors in fact. So I've got the red wire of the battery coming around here, feeding some current into this resistor. And in this case here, this is my 100 ohm resistor, a brown, black, brown. Comes around here like this and feeds a red, 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 a 2200 ohm resistor. And the current just flows back around in the black terminal battery and back around again. What I'd like to do in this video here is measure the voltages across the resistors and sort of see what we get. Okay. So the first thing we'll do as usual is we'll measure the voltage across the entire circuit first. So I'll hold it on the input, one lead on the input of this resistor and the other on the output of the final resistor here. And see, I get about 8.5 volts. That's sort of my 9 volt battery starting to fail a bit, but I have 8.5 volts across the two resistor pair. And that makes sense because that's what the battery does, supplies the voltage for me. Let's look at the voltage just across the 100 ohm resistor, like this. Getting about 0.3 volts, 0.4, it's around up to 0.4. On this resistor here, I'm getting about 8.1. So see, 0.4 plus 8.1 is 8.5. So it does have to add up to the whole voltage the battery supply because that's just the way it works. So 0.4 plus 8.1. Let me take out this uh, red resistor here and put in another 100 ohm resistor. So here's the same configuration, but now I have two identical resistors in the circuit here. So I've got two resistors in series here. As you know, current in equals to current out. I've got a brown, black, brown right here, and another brown, black, black, brown right there. Once again, the resistance across the pair is the battery voltage at about 8.5. The resistance across this resistor here is now up to 4.2. Remember, it was like 0.4 before, 4.2. And here, it's about 4.2 also. So the voltages have changed a lot. They still add to 8.5 or about, as they must. But this is 4.2, and this is 4.2. This is sort of where the word voltage divider comes from. You can see what's happening here, is that if I measure, say, just the voltage across this resistor right here, I have a division or a fraction of the 8.5. In fact, for two identical resistors, you see that fraction is exactly half. Each one of, the of these resistors here is supporting exactly half of the supply voltage. That's what I mean by voltage divider. If you just run some current through some resistors and measure the voltage across the resistors, you'll see some fraction or some division of the supply voltage going on. Let's swap out one more resistor here. I'm going to put in my 10,000 ohm resistor here. So this resistor that I'm putting in this circuit now is a brown, black, orange. And let's measure the voltage again. So across the pair, of course, I'm at 8.5. Across just this 100, it's very small now, 0.09 volts. And over here, I've got about 8.45. So see, the sum is still about 8.5, but now the fraction has changed a lot. It's very small across this resistor and very large across this one now. But that's the nature of the game with the voltage divider. Again, these fractions of resistance right here, or these different resistances here, produce different fractions of the supply voltage. So let me move on just a bit here. Those are for fixed resistors. I'll leave that 100 ohm in there just for the sake of comparison, just so I don't have to completely rebuild the circuit every time. Let's put in a photoresistor now, the one that has a, a resistance that depends on how much light hits it. So I'll go ahead and put that in the circuit like this. I've still got the 100 ohm in there. put this in the circuit here and power it up. So there we go. So see, I still have two resistors in the circuit. One is the fixed resistor and one is the resistor whose output depends on how much light is hitting it. And what I'll do now to measure the voltage, because I need my hands free here, sort of to vary this light level right here, I'll go ahead and connect this red lead here of the voltmeter across one side of the photoresistor. And I've got my other yellow clip lead here across the other side of the photoresistor. So I'm connecting this yellow one along the black clip lead there. Black voltmeter probe, and there we go. So what I'm doing now is I just have the voltage across the photoresistor. And you can see, once again, the voltage is different. It's not the same as any of the other resistors I use at all. And now what I'll do is I'll change the resistance of the photoresistor 
by waving my hand over it, which changes the light level that hits it. And as, you know, as we know, these photoresistors have a resistance that varies with light intensity. So if I sort of cover it a bit, look at the voltage going up to 7.55, and there's down to 7.1 again. 7.55 down to 7.1. Let me see if I can cover it entirely with my hand there. I can get it to go up to 7.6 total darkness. Suppose I come in with a flashlight now, hit it with a flashlight. Drops about 6.92, something like that. And the flashlight's on. You can also try the light from your cell phone or something. So what we're seeing here is we're able to change the voltage that's measured in a circuit, which is a function of how much light is hitting the circuit itself. So we sort of made a light-dependent voltage divider. And again, the word divider keeps coming up because we know the battery has a supply of 8.5 volts. But I'm getting a division or a fraction of that voltage here, only 7 across the photoresistor. Now I bet the, the voltage across the fixed resistor is still about 1.5. Let's just put it on and measure that real quick. Yeah, it is about 1.5 because 1.5 plus 7 has to be equal to 8.5, which is the resistance, which is the total supply voltage of the battery here. Um, but of course, this voltage will change also if I cover the circuit because the sum of the two O's has to be equal to 8.5. So if the voltage across the photoresistor varies, it also has to vary across the one resistor right there. So see, I have a very nice circuit where the numbers or the voltage is changing as a function of light level intensity. And that's the idea behind a voltage divider.